Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be learning how to do two things. One of them, we're going to be migrating a large WordPress site for free. Uh, should be a very quick and easy process. The other thing, uh, we're going to be migrating a large WordPress site to AWS, which is quite different. We're going to be setting up a Bitnami WordPress EC2 instance, and then we're going to be migrating a local WordPress site to that EC2 instance. A um, little bit more complicated of a process, so let's begin. Okay, first we're going to be looking at how to migrate a site. So I have this Veterans Museum website that I put together a few years back. Um, I believe it's around 3.3 gigabytes. If you've ever tried to migrate a WordPress site, you may have tried to use this duplicator plugin. Uh, the way it packages things is kind of strange, and you need to pay a crazy amount of money to import anything like over a gigabyte, so it's pretty terrible. Uh, the other plugin is much better, all in one WordPress migration. First to export your website, just click export to, file. Uh, this could take a while, but eventually you end up with a file that, that looks like this. So simple enough. And then to import that, you go to import, and we see this maximum upload file size is 40 megabytes. Um, that's not going to cut it for us. They have a little how-to down here. And they suggest uh, either buying their stupidly priced uh, plugin or editing the wp-config PHP file, which isn't too difficult to do. But I always opt for a different option. If you go to this GitHub link here, um, I'll have this in the description, you can download an earlier version of this plugin, version 6.77. So once we have that downloaded, we're going to go back to our plugins, uh, deactivate, and delete this earlier version of the plugin. Then we're going to add new, upload, and we're going to choose the one that we downloaded, 6.77. Activate. And now, our maximum upload file size has increased to 10 gigabytes, so hopefully that's uh, sufficient. Otherwise, look into editing that uh, wp-config file. Now you can just import from the file that we downloaded earlier, and you're golden. Alright, so the second part of this tutorial I'm a little more excited about. Uh, it took a lot of trial and error in order for me to learn how to do this, so I'm happy to pass this knowledge along. Okay, first we will be exporting our local WordPress site. Uh, it doesn't have to be a local site, just any WordPress site. Uh, second, we will be setting up our Bitnami WordPress EC2 instance on AWS. So this tutorial is supposing that you already have an AWS account and you kind of know what EC2 is. Uh, third, we'll be using FSTP to transfer our WordPress site file that we exported. Um, to AWS through FileZilla. And finally, we'll be able to use that file to import our site successfully. It's been a little while since I've done any of this, so I'm glad I took notes, and these notes will be in the description. All right, let's go ahead and set up an instance. So let's launch instance, give it a name. Uh, as for the application image, we're going to do a search for Bitnami. Go over to the AWS Marketplace, and we will find uh, this right here, WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. Alright, perfect. Uh, the rest of this is fine. Uh, let's create a new key pair. Uh, we'll be using putty in this tutorial. Give it a name. And then save it somewhere you're not going to lose it. Alright, and uh, the rest of this is fine. Let's go ahead and launch the instance. Alright, once we have our instance running, we're going to go to Actions, Monitor and Troubleshoot, Get System Log. 
So in the system log here, uh, sometimes this will populate and you'll see your WP admin credentials right here. Uh, that's great. Sometimes this will not populate. This will be blank. And when that happens, uh, we'll have to open a putty session. Uh, click on your instance and this public IPv4 address. Copy this and paste that into hostname. And then over here under SSH, auth, you'll browse for the putty private key file that you downloaded. So let's go ahead and open that session. Log in as bitnami. ls to see uh, the files in our current directory. Uh, we have bitnami credentials, so let's vi bitnami credentials. And there they are. There's our username and password. So now let's go ahead and open this public IPv4 address. Go to slash wp dash admin. And here's where you will be entering those credentials. And there we go. All right, from here, let's go to the plugin import. And I suggest uh, attempting to upload directly. Um, in my experience, this does not work at all. I have no idea why. If it works for you, then great. Just drag and drop. We're not going to wait for it. I know it's not going to work. All right, so what do we do? Uh, well, we see this backups link right here. And right now it's empty. What we want is to have our WordPress backup file um, show it up here. And how are we going to do that? Well, because this is hosted on AWS, we have to do it securely through uh, SFTP. Now before we do that, I want to show you how to increase the max file upload size in case you have just a huge website over 10 gigabytes. So we're going to go to Tools. Uh, plugin file editor and we're gonna select our all-in-one WP migration plugin now I have two of them here one of them's the new one one of them's the old one make sure when you select it that it is the active version all right we're gonna go to constants.php and we're gonna search for and here we're, we're gonna search for max underscore file and here it is this is what defines earlier where we saw we have a max file upload size of 10 gigabytes um, you'll have to fudge with these numbers I, I, uh, I imagine if you make this a 4 that it'll increase that to 20 you'll, you'll just have to mess with that yourself alright now we will be setting write permissions and that involves opening a new putty session Login is bitnami. Alright, once we're logged in, let's uh, change the directory. We'll go back to, and then we'll go into opt slash bitnami slash wordpress slash wp dash content. Alright, from here we're going to say sudo stat ai1wm-backups and yep there's the status we know we're in the right place and now sudo chown not sure if that's how you pronounce that but whatever bitnami ai1wm-backups very good and now sudo chmod plus w a i 1 wm dash backups and this should actually give us the right permissions all right perfect 
right, from here we're going to open FileZilla. File, Site Manager, and we're going to add our WordPress site. New site. Uh, protocol has to be SFTP. Host is going to be our uh, public IPv4 address. Uh, long on type will be key file, and we'll use the private key that we saved earlier. User will be bitnami, and we'll hit connect. All right, fantastic. Our uh, transfer was successful. So now what we have to do is reset the write permissions. Let's open up Putty again. Start our instance. Login as Bitnami. All right, let's go ahead and navigate again to opt bitnami wordpress wp content all right from here we're going to say sudo ch own daemon comma daemon a1 or ai1 wm dash backups and then next, we're going to say sudo chmod 0775ai1wm-backups. All right, after doing that, we should be able to go back to WordPress, go to backups, and there it is. There's our backup. Just click restore. And that should do it for you. Thanks for watching.